Kentucky Utilities and LG&E are making history in the sky. WKYT's Lizzie Bryson took a trip to Kentucky's first wind turbine to learn how successful it's already been. It's not often that people welcome the wind, but with KU and LG&E's brand new addition, they're wishing for it a lot more often. This is Kentucky's first utility wind turbine, which we turned on at the, the end of February, actually, and tested for the entire month of March. The 165-foot addition is one of a kind. Director of Research and Development Aaron Patrick gave us an inside look, literally. If you give me a moment, I can open this up. It seems massive, but it's actually small for a wind turbine. That's because it's being used to test how successful they could be in the bluegrass state. The result? We're really pleased uh, with the performance. The wind turbine was spinning 85% of the time, producing renewable energy that went straight on the grid to our customers. Based on the data gathered in the past 30 days, they expect that a single wind turbine could power up to 90 average-sized homes at a time. And to keep vegetation around the new structure tidy are their all-natural lawnmowers. 49 sheep that live on the land and graze the grass near the solar share sites. KU says their quest for a state fully fueled by renewable energy doesn't just stop at electricity. We have an all of the above technology strategy. We don't have a preferred generating resource, but we're testing all of them right here at our E.W. Brown generating station. In Mercer County, I'm Lucy Bryson, WKYT. And Kentucky's largest wind turbine is connected to Kentucky's largest lithium ion battery, which can store thousands of kilowatts of renewable energy generated by the turbine for future use.